one of the new leading men from The Bachelor's 2023 may have spoiled how the season ends with a wild night out on the town Sydney. Jed McIntosh reportedly seemed single during an outing, suggesting he may have already split from his Bachelor winner. That or he pulled a honey badger and chose no one as his winner, as Nick Cummins did in 2018. Though we doubt that. Jed reportedly told one woman who recognized him from the Bachelor 2023 announcement that he couldn't confirm if he was still with any of the women from the show, but it was a good experience. He seemed very single, she told Yahoo Lifestyle.Watch, the Bachelorette finale, Brooke blurred in tears up at the final rose ceremony. Article continues after video it was really weird he was there on his own, he told us he was waiting for his mates but no one came. We left at around 3 a.m. and he was still there on his own. It's as if he just went out to meet people. While we try to take rumors about reality TV shows with a grain of salt, The Bachelor hasn't always had a great track record of producing lasting couples in the past. 2021's leading man Jimmy Nicholson is still with winner Holly Kingston, as is Lockie Gilbert and his winner Irina Serbinovska, but many more romances have failed after the show aired. And it's not the first time Jed himself has made headlines, he was in the spotlight and may win sexist Facebook posts from 2011 resurfaced online. Screenshots shared by a since-deleted Twitter account in the wake of his casting announcement appeared to show a younger Jed posting about going to smash P, sigh and perving on women with male friends. He quickly released a statement addressing the posts via the Daily Telegraph, saying, these posts are from over 10 years ago and I don't have any recollection of making them. Anyone who knows me knows this is not who I am. As a kid we say things not understanding the gravity of the language used but I can adamantly say as an adult I do not agree with the use of language and sentiment of the posts. Jed would have been around 14 at the time the posts were allegedly shared to Facebook and insists has come a long way in the more than a decade since. I have the utmost, sick, respect for women. I'm a strong advocate for assault victims and would never want to cause any harm or hurt to anyone," he said. This article originally appeared on our sister site, WHO.